absolutely shrunk golf courses. And I'm really happy I did get to see him play. And it's so different from what a lot of people have seen in his later years due to some injuries, hip problems that he's had, which we'll discuss. So, hi everyone, Craig Hansen here. We're checking out Jack Nicholas and Arnold Palmer. Absolutely staggering some of the stories that you hear about with these guys. Especially Nicholas, how far that he was hitting the golf ball. Um, absolutely extraordinary. Breaking club heads and, and, and driving the golf ball with the equipment back then that they had. Uh, yeah, what has he got? 18 major championships, 117 t tournament victories throughout the world. Uh, Arnold Palmer, seven-time major champion. And uh, we're going to have a quick look here. Later on in the video, guys, I'm going to show you an easier way to really swing the golf club. We're going to go through another couple of players there. We're going to have a look at Nicholas and Palmer from the back view with iron shots. Got some incredible uh, coverage there. And we'll have a look at some of the lines and, and what they're doing and compare it uh, a little bit to the modern day play here. So, all right, let's have a quick look here at the guys. I'm not going to go too long into this, but uh, we'll just have a look at the amount of head movement that they have on the way back. And a couple of little things here. Both had wide swings. Huge turns. I mean, obviously, this looks like a long drive champion, doesn't it? We see the, the wide swing and, you know, the two average of the hips turn in the modern day times between 35 to 50 degrees on the way back. And there we're, we're around about 60 to 70 degrees. So with legs like uh, Nicholas here on the, on the right, it's no wonder that he was, you know, winding up that far and coming through, planning, replanning that left leg. You see the head moving forwards, big lateral shift. He spoke about weight transference back to the left. Nicholas and, and using his knees and really just throwing the suitcase at it. That's uh, just incredible power and no wonder that uh, we're winning so many tournaments. I love this move when you see this move from Palmer moving back, that step back and, and re-centering the head and then just so flexible, wasn't he? Just unbelievable turning his body. The king, seven times major champion, 60 uh, something tournaments, 162 I think it was and one of the best players of all time. World Class Golf Instruction has over 700 detailed videos for every golfer. Practice programs and evidence-based material is applied in helping you to become your own coach and play your best golf. Join us in the chat room and join the community of World Class Golf Instruction. Guys, let's get in there and have a look at these uh, great camera shots. You're gonna enjoy this and uh, we're gonna see some incredible moves and in a way when they're coming down, not dissimilar the swings here but we'll have a look we'll get a line up here we'll draw some of the normal lines that i do pop it up through the shaft nicholas on the left palmer on the right obviously and uh let's have a look what they do all right so up to the top of the swing what is interesting is is here we, we see two different types of back swings but everyone always spoke about the flying elbow and obviously that's the amount of external rotation that he had in this this arm here but it's actually not that high you know, compared to the spine angle, it's not that far away, you know, but what really is uh, interesting is how steep these shoulders are. And if you watch some of my other videos, we looking at this, you were really into the 50 degree area and point just outside the golf ball up the top and from the shoulder into the belt buckle, 31 degrees. That's incredible. We're normally seeing two pros are into the 40 degree area, but by both of these players, there was a huge turn and, and whipped it a little bit on the inside palmer and up to the top you'll see the amount of lowering with the head here we know that the tour pros lower the, these days they we know that they lower between two to four inches down and it helps keep angles and then you know hit it with a bent right arm we can see obviously here similar position actually in the way that the shoulders work also into the 55 degree area here and from the shoulder into the belt buckle here at 31 isn't that amazing isn't that absolutely amazing that we've got just about the same numbers here and the same shoulder plan by both players at the top of the ball. So guys, when you're looking at these uh, shoulder planes and when we're looking at uh, the averages of movement, it is very, very interesting uh, when we're comparing our own swings and we're 30 degrees away from uh, where the tour pros are, it really makes you think, guys, to, to work with evidence-based material and uh, just apply yourself and practice with good information. Oh, guys, don't forget to subscribe, hit the button, hit the bell, and uh, if you like the video, like the video, that helps me out. It uh, gets the videos ranked a bit higher and gets me out there and uh, uh, get some other stuff out there rather than the same old stuff. So, all right, let's have a look at the way down. We see that Nicholas, where he's pointing the club, and you'll see this plane flatten slowly it takes a while but he's going to get it in there the greatest player of all time you see this club moving around moving around and uh he does get it on a beautiful plane coming down already there we can see that the 
club is lined up and is parallel to the original shaft plane, shallowing further, and uh, it's it's obviously coming down into the same position what I've done with all my videos. We can see that uh, the club's shaving down the down plane. We can see that the lead wrist here is slightly bowed, and when we have a look at uh, Palmer here on the right, we're going to be seeing the same shallowing out. And when we go back, we'll just scroll back a little bit here. We're actually seeing very very similar uh, positions of the of the club here. Watch this when they come down. Very very interesting that the players, the leg work, the knee work, the hips, uh, getting into impact very close to the original shaft plane, and uh, almost you could say almost identical there. Obviously Palmer's moved a bit further down here. The right arm's a little bit more bent, and then through and up and. Look at Nicholas is just holding that shot off a little bit. Look at that face control here. And uh, an absolute ball striking machine. Hit so many greens in regulation. Arnold Palmer the king. And why do we have to get old? Look at that. Wouldn't it be great to watch them on TV these days in their prime and to see how far Nicholas would hit the golf ball. Because when you're looking at working on your shoulder planes on world-class golf instruction, we've got a complete series that uh, it's called Deep to Shallow and uh, really getting in there and showing you guys uh, some of the evidence-based material on how to program your swings, getting your swings in a better position, an easier position to hit shots. Now we've got so many people around the world coming in steep and it's really a dilemma. We've got 60, 60 million golfers and 40 million of them coming in steep. Now guys, you've got to get your club faces working correctly. You've got to get your wrist alignments. For most of you out there, you'd like to probably get a three knuckle grip and a flat left wrist and that's going to get your club face a little bit more shut than the lead arm position and that's going to really help you guys shallow about looking at your shoulder planes getting it lined up a little bit takes it just a little bit of work it's not that hard and then you get this club coming down in a much much better position whereas if you see it's coming in behind the hands here and if we get a clock over that we're going to see that the sole of the club once again in a similar position and we can look at our wrist alignments and hit that back of the ball with a good path and a good face and get ourselves in a much better place. What we're seeing by so many players, you can get yourselves up to the top of the swing here. We're seeing by so many players really just in a position at the top of the swing where it's just so difficult for them to hit the ball. We'll see Duffner here more into the 40 degree area and just pointing a meter outside the ball. We can see that wrist position here with a big angle in it. And it's really hard to hit the golf ball bad from that position. So guys, check out World Class Golf Instruction and uh, you can get into the series, the deep to shallow series and get these club faces and wrist alignments matched up rather than getting ourselves in positions where we're seeing so many of the general public with shoulder turns really into the high 20 degrees no wrist uh, angles we can see the back of these wrist angles here with nothing in them and from here guys you have to tip it all over the club's going to come down open and it's going to come down steep and this is what we're seeing people really swinging in an identical fashion around the world so guys thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the video check out world class golf instruction and we'll see you next time